dear viewers today we are going to see what is the use of studying mathematics let us take a small project manaran company this is a imaginary company which is running some buses i'm dr c sudhakar with you you are watching we learn math please note that this is purely a imaginary company and the data used are taken from some sources which are not verified now we have some assumptions assume that we are going to run a bus company that bus company is having some buses each bus cost 50 lakh rupees lifetime of a bus is 5 lakh kilometers after which its value is zero we employ some people to work to conduct the bus smoothly for example drivers conductors manager office assistant cleaners checkers and various other people assume that we are paying a salary of 15000 rupees per month to 50000 rupees per month varies according to their designations we assume that a driver is working in the company for 20 days in a month and 8 hours a day and he can drive 350 kilometers per day for every service the cost is assumed as a constant value rupees 20000 rupees which includes all the spare parts required lubricants required and all other charges other various cost we will see it when we are doing the calculations our aim is to check how to run a bus company and if we are running a bus company what is the ideal ticket price we can fix this is our typical problem uh, this is one of the source we have taken this data from this newspaper on this date the public transport corporation operates 22509 buses and employ 1.4 lakh persons over 2 crore passengers use the service while buses traveling a total of 88.64 lakhs kilometers daily so let us take this as the initial data and based on this data let us derive some formula to calculate how to fix the price of a ticket so we have taken here total kilometers traveled is 88.64 lakh kilometers and there are 22509 buses every bus is traveling 393.798 kilometers per day that is the total number of kilometers is divided by the total number of buses so that is equal to this divide this now this is the average kilometers every bus is traveling now the minimum value we can assume every bus is traveling 350 kilometers for our calculation so 393 is the actual data we optimize it and we are assuming 350 kilometers for our calculation next these are the items we are going to analyze what is the cost of a bus what is the rent for the depot where we are going to keep the bus when it is in rest how much salary we are going to give for a manager how much salary we are going for the office assistant how much salary for the driver conductor cleaner checker and how much diesel we are going to use it per kilometer and how much insurance per kilometer we are going to spend and what are the other service charges we are going to use it for 
maintenance services so put together that will give the expenditure per bus per per kilometer so we can calculate them separately one by one now let us calculate the bus cost assume that the cost of the bus is 50 lakhs the lifetime of a bus is 5 lakh kilometers after 5 lakh kilometers the bus will be destroyed and its value is zero so how much kilometer when you are calculating the cost of the bus divided by the kilometer so that means every kilometer the cost of the bus is rupees 10 rupees second assume that the rent for the place where we are going to keep the bus is 50,000 rupees per month so in that place we are going to stop 25 buses so from our earlier calculations we have calculated a bus is traveling 350 kilometers so per day a bus is traveling 350 kilometers so this is a monthly rent assume that default days in a month is 30 days so if you want to calculate the rent per kilometer it is equal to monthly rent divided by number of buses the distance traveled by the bus for 30 days so it's coming 0.19 rupees for the rent per kilometer so 0.190476 now let us calculate the salary of a manager assume that for every 25 buses we are going to appoint a manager he is getting around 30,000 rupees salary per month so when you are converting this into per kilometer 25 buses traveling 350 kilometers for 20 working days that is a manager is going to work for 20 days in a month so we put working days for a manager is 20 so per kilometer how much money we are going to spend for manager salary so manager salary divided by number of buses multiply the kilometers it is traveled into the number of days the manager is working so it's coming 0.17 rupees per kilometer per bus now the next person is the office assistant assume that for every five buses we are going to put an assistant so for every 25 buses there will be a manager for every five buses there will be an assistant so assume that his salary is 15,000 rupees please note that this salaries are assumed randomly which is varying from 15,000 to 50,000 rupees now the salary for a office assistant per kilometer will be given by salary per month divided by the number of buses he is maintaining into every bus is traveling how many kilometers he is also working for only 20 days in a month so divided by 20 so this is the amount we are going to pay for every kilometer to an office assistant now coming to the driver salary driver means every driver is driving only one bus so he is having a salary of 20,000 rupees per month and he is going to work for 20 days in a month every day he is driving 350 kilometers so the amount we are going to spend for the driver is salary 20,000 divided by kilometers into number of days he is driving 
so it's coming around 2.85 rupees we are going to spend for a driver assume that the conductor is also having the same salary 20000 rupees and he is also going to travel for 350 kilometers and he is going to work for 20 days so the amount we are going to spend for a conductor is salary divided by kilometer into 20 days so every expenses we are converting into per kilometer now assume that for every five buses we will put a cleaner he can clean the bus but every bus is traveling for 350 kilometers and the cleaner is also working for 20 days in a month so assume that the salary is 15,000 rupees for a cleaner so how much money we are spending for a cleaner that is equal to salary divided by kilometers into number of days into number of buses so it's coming to 0.42 now coming to a checker every five buses we put one checker to check whether everything is okay and all other supervision purposes so for a checker how much we are going to spend is his salary is 25,000 rupees we are fixing so that is divided by kilometers working days number of buses so 0.71 now these are the charges applied for a person now let us see for the charges for diesel so randomly from today's data cost of 1 liter diesel is 65 rupees and that is approximately can operate the bus for 5 kilometers to 6 kilometers so we take the lower bound as 5 kilometers so per kilometer how much is the money we are spending for petrol is the petrol cost divided by 5 kilometer it's costing around 13 rupees per kilometer we are spending assume that the bus we are paying 30,000 rupees as an insurance for one full year so when you are converting into per kilometer it is coming 30,000 divided by it is calculated for 365 days into per kilometer per day it is 350 so divided by 350 so 0.23 is the amount we are spending for every kilometer for a bus insurance now all other services assume that every day it is traveling for 350 kilometers per month it is traveling on 30 days so totally for every month the bus is running to 10,500 kilometers for every 10,500 kilometers we are doing a complete service and assume that the cost of service is 20,000 rupees we are not sure about this data but this is enough for one month service including all the cost so for every kilometer when you are converting this service cost divided by the total kilometers it was running it is equal to 1.9 so these are the various costs involved so after converting and we are incorporating them here so it's coming nearly 32.78721 rupees per kilometer if you are operating a bus for one kilometer it is costing 32 rupees approximately for the bus owner assume that the bus is accommodating around 25 passengers now we can convert it into per passenger so for every passenger it is going to be 32 divided by this 25 so for every passenger they have to pay 1.311 rupee per kilometer so this is the minimum ticket we can fix it if the bus is having 
25 passengers but the bus capacity varies from 30 to 50 so if you are accommodating 35 passengers then the per kilometer rate will come down to 0.93 so let us make a random check whether it is a profitable business or not so from Thiruvannamalai to Chennai the online take 250 rupees so the distance is 190 kilometers so the cost of running a bus is 0.933 into 190 kilometers 177 rupees per passenger the actual cost is 250 rupees in online so how much the company is making profit out of it so it is around 80 rupees the company is making profit out of 190 kilometers so actually the company is charging 1.31 rupees per kilometer so the profit per kilometer is 0.37 assume that per day if it is running 350 kilometers the profit from a bus is 132 rupees per bus so if the number of passengers is going less than 25 the company can earn only 1.5 rupees if the company bus is running with 24 passengers the company will run on loss if the company is running with its full capacity of 42 or 40 it can have a profit of 173 rupees per day some of the data are taken from these resources and please note that all these calculations are just a rough idea and to for educational purpose only we don't have any check on the data or the salaries are randomly chosen to have a rough calculation for running a bus project so this is how we can use the mathematics in our day-to-day -day life or we can run for a small business I hope you enjoyed learning mathematics with me please subscribe to this channel and click the bell button for quick updates Wish you all the best, Dr. C. Sudhaka signing off.